ओके अयान सो लेट्स गो एड गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग सो प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर आई एम प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर आई ओ सी एल सर आई ओ सी एल यस सर एंड यू वॉन्ट टू गो अड विद स्नैप ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मेटेरियल स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मेटेरियल ओके ओके एन सो लेट्स गो हेड विद दिस सो अयान वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ स्ट्रेस सर स्ट्रेस इज द इंटरनल रेसिस्टेंस फॉर यूनिट एरिया ऑफ ऑन ए बॉडी वेन सम एक्सटर्नल लोड इज अप्लाइड ऑन द बॉडी ओके एंड वट इज प्रेशर हाउ इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम प्रेशर सर प्रेशर इज अ स्केलर क्वान्टिटी एंड स्ट्रेस इज अ टेंसर एंड प्रेशर इज अ एक्सटर्नल फोर एक्सटर्नली इट इज अप्लाइड द प्रेशर Yeah, when the pressure is applied on the body, it is external, but uh, stress it is uh, internal due to okay, internal. So why, 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 so why did you say that this is a tensor quantity? Because uh, when I am defining stress, we need uh, we need both the uh, direction and the plane in which the stress is acting. Mm -hmm. So it is a uh, two degree uh, tensor. So it is a tensor okay. quantity. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. What is Young's modulus? Sir, sir Young Young's modulus is uh, it, it's a material property and it, it's a um, it's a it is defined as a stress uh, longitudinal stress by longitudinal strain of the body. So what does it indicate? Um, sir, young modulus uh, uh, is a it, it is a property of the body and uh, it. Uh, it indicates that uh, if a um, uh, if a stress is applied on the body then uh, how much it will uh, deform on that uh, or if i am trying to deform a body then how much stress will be induced in it so we can get from the young's modulus uh, okay what kind of tests we can perform in utm in utm we perform uh, tensile test uh, compressive stress and um, uh, torsional test this kind of tests we can perform so how we can measure toughness sir uh, the toughness of a material uh, we can measure that uh, if i am taking about the mild steel then uh, up to the fracture of the Uh, mild steel how much strain energy it stores um, uh, per unit volume so by that we can get the toughness of the uh, material sorry so to get the toughness of a material in the uh, st stress strain curve if i uh, if, if i calculate the total area under the stress strain curve up to the failure point Up to the failure point of okay, the material. Okay, so there is a okay. One is stress strain diagram. What else? Sorry, sir. So let's say I am having component. I have not given you the stress strain diagram. How I can just measure the toughness or calculate the toughness? If I uh, if we can calculate the strain energy per unit volume, then it is uh, toughness. I don't then have the, I, I, I don't have stress strain if, diagram. If I what? if I have the load uh, load uh, load deflection diagram, so I'm not I don't have load deflection or uh, do I have any method of measuring the toughness? No, oh, sir, that I don't know. Tell me a few mechanical properties of the material. Um, mechanical properties of the material. Um, um, it is the uh, toughness is one uh, one mechanical property. Uh, another is uh, uh, malleability is a property. Uh, uh, so, um, the prop uh, there can be the fatigue strength. Uh, strength is a property. Fatigue strength or yield strength. These are the properties. Okay, what is the pressure vessel? Sir, in the uh, pressure vessel, only uh, 
uh, in the pressure vessel only the um, uh, sir, sir, when some uh, when in some uh, uh, in some vessel some fluid suppose some fluid is there then uh, in this the fluid exert pressure on the wall of the vessel and uh, that that is um, that, that is a pressure vessel so what kind of stresses are developed in the pressure vessel sir in the pressure vessel um, uh, the stresses uh, like the longitudinal stresses hoop stresses are developed that's all also shear stress can develop mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay. So, do you know the meaning of poison ratio? Yes. Yes, sir. What is it? Mm -hmm. Sir, it is the. Uh, sir, it is the ch uh, change in the uh, lateral dimensions of a material uh, by the change in the uh, longitudinal uh, dimension. change in the lateral dimension per unit length and change in the it means a strain in the longitudinal direction a lateral direction by longitudinal direction if we take then that is a poisson ratio so what is the poisson ratio for uh, rubber is 0.5 sir and uh, for uh, this uh, concrete for concrete uh, mm, not uh, very sure about that sir. it may be in 0.1 to 0.3 in this range not 0.1 sure to 0.3 you said two huge range yes sir uh, what about mild steel maybe may it within 0.1 uh, in case of concrete i'm not sure um, mild steel for mild steel um, the poison ratio is uh, yes sir it may be 0.1 to 0.2 in this range okay ayan let me just give you the feedback now okay <coughs> stress pressure okay yes. you are able to define tensor also i ask you to define this uh, young's modulus defined okay but uh, i told you to tell me the meaning of young's modulus right yes. young's modulus means that how easy or difficult for you to deform that material that is what it indicates yes we say it indicates the stiffness what does that mean that means that how easy or difficult for me to deform a given material by a certain amount yes. toughness okay stress strain diagram you have a charpy test and other tests right have you heard about those no sir just HR okay test. okay okay what you do is uh, uh search on the internet uh, that uh, what is the methods to measure the toughness methods to calculate the toughness test test perform to measure the toughness you will get two to three tests at least get the idea basic idea in iocl they are not going to ask you very deep questions but definitely they are going to ask you basic questions right test on in utm you said tensile compressive at the same time you are saying torsion see think of a situation if you have visited the workshop can you rotate that utm no 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 uh, torsion testing machine is different sorry sir um, so so if you cannot rotate so how you can say that torsion if you cannot rotate so it will give the impression that you have not visited the you have not seen the utm yes yes tensile test and compressive we can conduct the shear test simple yes. shear test can be performed yes. but yes. not the torsion okay no no mechanical properties when someone ask you about the mechanical properties tell those properties at least which you know very well otherwise the, you, you may get stuck up for example okay toughness is a property malleability uh, for example fatigue and all that for example when you say fatigue he may ask starting asking question on fatigue so don't say okay you can say okay different strengths we can say is a property and uh, all that right so be little choosy just tell two three yeah. properties main properties and then say etc right pressure vessel stress is okay but you know you have to tell okay. that uh, in case of uh, pressure vessel depending upon the type of pressure vessel in general you will say 
longitudinal hoop and radial stresses are also going to be over there but in case of thin pressure vessel radial stress is ignored because its value is less but in case of thick pressure vessel we consider that this is how your answer should come mu rubber close to 0.5 very close to 0.5 concrete concrete you know lateral strain is going to be very less yes sir it is going to be around 0.1 0.1 Mild steel, not point. See, for most of the engineering material, we are saying that point two five two point three two something. Mm -hmm. It means mild steel B is also going to fall in that category roughly. Yes. So it is not point one two point two, but point two five roughly about around point three point two five. You can say any value. So just revise it, but just keep it in mind that you have to thorough with the subject, uh, right? So at least whatever the basic questions that are posed to you must be able to answer. Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay.